Sean McCoy just shaded the hell out of Dak Prescott, calling the Dallas Cowboy quarterback ass and claiming he's playing like trash after a loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. The former Eagles star unloaded on Dak Prescott during his appearance on FS1 this week, bluntly saying Dak Prescott is now living up to the expectations as the leader of the American team, Dallas Cowboys, and certainly not playing like a man deserving of a four-year, $160 million contract. Well, Dak is ass, right? Can I say on TV? Because he is ass, You can say whatever ass. you want on TV. Okay, that's one thing. This is the second game that he's just lost mm. by throwing picks. He threw two picks to the, pa the, the, uh, the Packers, right? Had 14-point lead, mm -hmm. lost, come back. They was up 17. My man, 17 and lost picks. That first one, that pass he threw, the second one, not the first one. The first one was terrible. Do you agree with that? Yes. That was uh, awful. Like, where was he throwing that ball to? Dak Prescott has the easiest job and uh, the second easiest job, right? The first, I go to Purdy and, and Jimmy G with, with the um, Niners. Yep. Great defense, right? Run the ball very well, make safe passes. Dak has the easiest job in football. The, the, the picks he throwing, those are not like, he's not even trying to like, like, like fit, fit the ball through the needles or the small little windows. These are like easy passes. They run the ball well. <laughs> what else can you do? I'm paying you $160 million. That's how you play? If you tell me that's outstanding, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. Got a top 10 passer rating for the week. Man, I don't care. You oh, keep man. talking about these numbers. Yeah. When you watch this, when you, okay, they matter. When you watch the game with your eyes, the same eyes that you have, I have two, two eyes too. I watch the same game. He looked trash. I got one more. All of this came about because of Dak P6. That handed the Jags the win in overtime on Sunday, even though the interception was more due to receiver Noah Brown failing to secure the pass. A shady McCoy also says the first pick Dak threw earlier in the week, in the week 15 matchup was terrible, and he criticized the vet for failing to secure the ball in crunch time and blowing a 17 point lead. JD proceeded to say that Dak Prescott's decision making has been an issue all season and blames it for Dallas' loss to the Green Bay Packers last month as well. Dak Prescott has thrown for 11 interceptions in 2022 in just 9 starts, two picks away from his career high, which he set in 16 games back in 2017. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said after the Jacks lost that he would love for his team to stop turning the ball over in order for the team to make a deep playoff run. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.